Hi friends, Mike Smith here, Senior Minister of Minchabri Anglican Church, bringing you our weekly news update from here at the church. And with all the talk in recent days of end of lockdown and roadmap to recovery, I imagine for many people it's all a little exciting. But don't forget that for others in our church and wider community, it may not be exciting, but in fact it might provoke anxiety. And so as I've been reflecting on prayer each and every Friday morning over the last few weeks, I was reminded of a, a great encouragement from the Apostle Paul in Philippians chapter 4 that no matter how we are feeling, no matter what situation or what occasion, we can always talk to the Lord about it in prayer. So let these words be another encouragement to you today. Philippians chapter 4, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So whether you are feeling excited about the roadmap to recovery or whether that's provoking anxiety for you, let me encourage you to call upon the Lord and let his peace give you rest uh, this day. Well, friends, we have another fabulous weekend in store for us at church, and it all begins tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. on Zoom. We're going to gather together for our Zoom fun day, and it's a, an event for all ages and all stages of life. We're not going to take things too seriously. We're just going to engage together, play some games, have a bit of fun, and it'll be a great opportunity to see each other and to catch up together. So that's tomorrow afternoon, our Zoom fun day at 3 p.m. A link to the Zoom meeting can be found on the Mac Community uh, Facebook group. Now, this coming Sunday is Compassion Sunday, where we have an opportunity as a church to look back, reflect on our partnership with Compassion and give great thanks to God for this Christian organisation that seeks to release children from poverty in the name of Jesus. And we have a special guest who's going to be joining us at 10 a.m. on the live stream, uh, Roy, uh, who is studying here in Sydney, but he grew up as a Compassion kid in Indonesia. And we're going to hear a bit of Roy's story and how God used compassion uh, to bring great blessing to his life. So make sure that you tune in at 10am to hear that story. I'm also going to be preaching on Mark chapter 5, that great moment where Jesus shows compassion and raises a dead girl back to life. It's an incredible story. Uh, so I look forward to sharing that with you uh, this coming Sunday. Now, this weekend, because it is Compassion Weekend, we have an opportunity as a church to expand our partnership with Compassion. At the moment, all of our church members combined, we sponsor 43 children in the Philippines. Thank you so much for that commitment that you have made to release children from poverty. I'd love to be able to see that expanded this weekend to beyond 50 children uh, in the Philippines. And so our friends at Compassion have put together a dedicated website for our church. And you can head to that website even now, a link there is on the screen, uh, or scan that QR code with your phone and it'll take you directly to our dedicated Compassion website for this weekend only. And as you go to that website, website. Just scroll down a little bit and there you can see a bunch of the Compassion Kids in the Philippines that are waiting, desperately waiting for a sponsor like you uh, to be a blessing in their life. Just click on one of those uh, children that are waiting for a sponsor and you can read more information about what life is like for them. And then you have an opportunity to, to click that sponsor button uh, and go through that process and be a wonderful blessing and join Compassion in seeking to release children from poverty in the name of Jesus. So I can commend that uh, to you. Well, friends, that's all the news uh, from me today. Can I encourage you as we continue to explore the roadmap to recovery uh, for our church? I had a meeting with the bishops during the week. We've drafted our own plan and our parish council and our wardens. We're going to gather together next week to discuss that and to make a decision uh, on reopening our church. And I encourage you, whether that's exciting for you or provoking anxiety to you, Keep calling upon the Lord in prayer. Keep trusting him and let his peace uh, give you rest. Well, as I said, that's all the news for today, except for one final uh, thing to mention, and that is this Sunday night is the NRL Grand Final. Go the mighty Panthers. God bless everyone. See you soon.